Alright, I've seen a lot of posts here lately about pull throughs, different ways to clean your pellet gun. And uh, I'm going to show you how I make my pull through. You can buy pull throughs on the internet. But if you don't want to wait for one, all you have to do is go to your local sporting goods store, get some fly fishing line. It's relatively inexpensive. Most sporting goods stores have them. I use an ordinary drinking straw to get through the baffles so I don't have to remove the shroud or silencer on any of my air guns. These are my cleaning patches that I cut from a large piece of bulk material that I got from a fabric store. This is flannel. This seems to work the best for me. And this is my pull through. I just stick the patch through the little hole. Put a little wooden dowel on it for a handle so that I can pull it through. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off about 66 inches of the fly fishing line. Alright. We're going to grab each end of it, stretch it out, and you're going to spin one end of it till it, till it coils up. It's actually a lot of spinning. You want this thing to be in a bind to where it gathers up on you when you pull it back together. This is important. So spin it a lot where it wants to gather up on you. Then we're going to flush up these two ends, stretch the other end out. We're going to let it slowly twist up the way it wants to. You see it wanting to go? It wants to do this all by itself. So we're going to let it. Can you see the twists in it? That's what we want. We want a lot of twist in it. This one looks a little bit weak right through here. You can see how this one is coiled pretty tightly. And that's what we're after. We want it to be coiled pretty tightly. So I'm going to stretch it back out and spin it some more. Stretch it out, flush it up good, and start letting it go. It wants to spin itself, so just help it spin the right direction without letting go of these ends. I'll let go of something there. It's getting to be a pain. That looks good. Now we're just going to hold this firmly and tie it in a knot. <clears throat> and that's it. We have our pull through made. It looks like it's twisted up plenty good enough. These are incredibly strong. You just take a piece of dowel drill a hole through it, stick it through, tie it. Then on this end, that's all you have to do is shove your cleaning patch through there and it's ready to pull through. When you get ready to put this through the baffles, if you have baffles on your gun, you feed this end into the straw, take the straw, shove it all the way through the baffles until it gets to the barrel and you just continue shoving this in until it comes out of the breech. When it comes out of the breech, you can open this up. 
put a cleaning patch through it grab a hold of your handle and start pulling and that'll pull all the way through your barrel just like it is this now what's important is when you cut these flannel cleaning patches cut these things big enough that they're hard to pull through the barrel this thing will pull incredibly hard without breaking so the tighter the better almost to the point where you can't pull it through with one hand you want it to be really really tight when you pull that through with no solvents no oils no cleaners that will pull lead dirt and everything out with one patch you'll see the filthy patch come out and then you just take and run more clean patches through it's extremely effective it's kept my barrels clean now for about five years and uh, easy to make I bought this big spool of uh, fly fishing line it was cheap I thought well when mine breaks I'll just have a spare line to make more I haven't had to make another one it's been right at five years hope this helps